the madman. Okay, so the opponent's uh, Mongols, and he actually successfully town center rushed me last game. Uh, but it was on like the worst of maps, Dry Arabia, and it was wide open. This time around, I actually picked up some sheep. It's a much more defensible area. I'm not gonna hard counter it. Because, you know, in case they're not doing it. Which could always be the case. But what that last game taught me was that you definitely have to have a really good sense of your surroundings early. The opponent's going to come in rolling from the right side, somewhere over here. So this would be the prime spots right here or here. Oh, here it comes, all right. Step one, cancel, build a scout. Step two, start checkerboarding with sheep. Step three, stop collecting gold. Step four, block one of the spots with a mill, because that's also still slightly useful as a mill. Okay, opponent is doing a light one to begin with. Sneaking up here. I need to make sure he doesn't have access to this wood. Wow, I did a really bad job of guarding the approach here. But fortunately, this time around, there's like at least some random food down there. So, suppose the opponent gets through the wall of buildings. As long as you moved your base and you have some amount of wooden food still, then you are fine. Though it is uncomfortable. Notice how the sheep is blocking the, uh, the worst of it. The pl pl place I really don't want them to place it. Okay. 
But yeah, um, even without fantastic blocking. I've got my steady source of resources. Or enough to last for a while. Have more villies. Wait, there's a carcass there, isn't there? Okay, they moved it close enough, but now I have enough resource to move that base. You can just cycle around this uh, branch now. Oh my god, they have so many more spearmen than the usual guy. Still fine, we're still fine. This is the prey, there's cool food up there. Ooh, hello. Oh, it counts. Man, 
Okay, note to self, I should have had those in place beforehand. There's a sheep here still. Pray the sheep. Quad, 
Oh no, I don't want to lower my win rate against uh, this strategy even more. Why did they come out of that side?
That's right, get out of here! Hmm. This is super awkward. I don't think it's actually worth repairing the town center. I don't have the resources or time. Do you think it's worth it to keep building these? It might be worth it to repair this while I can, actually. Apparently has enough resources to repair this thing. I think this game figured out the uh, the follow-up to surviving the initial. You need to find a spot and then start farming it. I just didn't have enough experience to know that was the next step. Great Wall of China, circa 20 BC. Let's go. 
Sí, edifico. Course you! I'm not gonna lose win percentage against this strategy. Oh, the danger about putting it this close next to my fully loaded town center. That I actually have town center backup fire when I do decide to siege this. My economy is a lot better right now. It's producing guys and they're coming out the bottom side, presumably. God, that's so not worth it. did strategically place these houses to try to block the advance. Yes, but see. 
Okay, probably the uh, key research is going to be battery, right? Let's go, let's go! Easy game. <laughs> That's how you beat the Mongol Town Center Rush. But I definitely could have done a lot of things better. I think in the future what I do is I wall off some piece of land and then I build farms behind it. Because while I should give my opponent a lot of the free stuff, I'll have more villagers and that's fine.